Bow down to the king of Eternia from Masters of the Universe Origins. We got King Randor to open up here. A lot of leadership showing on the back of the card there. Buzz off and Stratos, kind of the lead of their people. A couple other weird characters in the background here. And that Eternian guard, which we did open up already. So we'll talk about Randor, about his original release in the 80s, and this new Origins figure. Naturally, I end up with the wordless mini comic. Randor was a, in a later 1987 release. I guess the king was a hard enough sell. No queen, but we could get an approximation of a queen, Marlena, in this line, because I'd like to have this set. Same weapon as Whiplash, so not an exclusive kingly scepter by any means, but a nice gold. I think the original might have varied in its color, maybe darker, or maybe just age has changed the color of them, but a fairly good shiny gold, better than the Tila and Zoar gold by that standard. I believe the crown here is set in, definitely glued in. He has like the old classic face there, nice beard. He does have removable chest armor. Not now, son. I'm looking for He-Man. He's a colorful king, but here's kind of the first uh, downgrade, I would say, from the original having a cloth cape, and this has a plastic one. I would definitely count the cloth one as a better piece than this very stiff plastic one that just has... I mean, since these are kind of modular figures that you can take apart, you just kind of pop the head off to get the cape. It's kind of its own molded ring there to get around him. And kind of the same chest piece as Jitsu, just with some missing colorings in. Weirdly kind of the same colors almost. I'm not sure why they picked that one other than just kind of they like the shape and symbol, I guess. But his gold paint is a lot better than some of the other, like She-Ra and that Tila and Zoar pack. This is pretty good gold paint for these figures compared to what they've had. Just the one hand to hold the staff. Ah, foolishly only got one Eternian guard. I need to get a second one at some point. Gonna have two guards flanking it. Having not had the original figures as a kid, I kind of thought Whiplash might have came with this axe kind of weapon. But he and Randor have the same spear, just in a different color. So a later figure in the original line, we got him here, just like they kind of did Scareglow very early on. Getting some royal family, maybe a little bit of a hint toward the Eternia playset with the king of Eternia. But I would like to see an imagining of Queen Marlena just in the line of what it would have looked like, maybe, you know, maybe not 100% like the cartoon even. Green, but just something to match this, that you have the king and queen. I dip into some imaginary things, because I kind of like how Origins is just kind of supposed to be improving the originals, maybe doing some things that the originals didn't have, but here we kind of have the first downgrade. Starting to get cheap, we got just a plastic cape. Really would like to have the cloth to be the same. This is a pretty big departure. Still a classic character worth adding to my collection because he is from the cartoon and the original toy line. So both factors covered there. I've been opening all my Masters Universe Origins figures you can see in this playlist. Leave King Randor a like. Maybe get subscribed if you really enjoyed just taking a close look at these Origins figures here. Nah, Eternia. Celebrated everywhere for its incredible strangeness. Why do some people have swords and other people have freaking laser guns? What's up with this? Why did I give my own guards just spears? Why didn't I give them the laser guns? What am I doing? Why don't I have a laser gun? What am I doing? What?